the Space Shuttle. It has defined an era and broken boundaries both in space and on Earth. Among the hundreds of people that have flown on the shuttle, many have been firsts for their race, their country, or their profession. In 1983, Sally Ride became the first American woman in space on STS-7. That flight also brought us the first doctor in space, Norm Thaggard. Later that year, Guy Bluford became the first African American in space on STS-8. In 1985, Ellison Onizuka became the first Asian American to fly in space on STS-51C. And on that flight, Gary Payton became the first military payload specialist to fly on the space shuttle. Mae Jemison became the first African-American woman in space on STS-47. That same flight also had a married couple that flew together, Mark Lee and Jan Davis. Ellen Ochoa was the first Hispanic woman to fly in space in 1993. Kathy Sullivan became the first American woman to walk in space in 1984 on STS-41G. In 1995, Bernard Harris became the first African-American to walk in space, and the first Hispanic to walk in space was Carlos Noriega in 2000. Jake Garn became the first senator to fly in space on STS-51D. On STS-9, Ulf Merbold became the first international astronaut on the space shuttle, although it would take about 11 years before a Russian would fly. That was Sergei Krikalev in 1994 on STS-60. The first African-American commander of the shuttle was Fred Gregory on STS-33. And the first Hispanic commander was Sid Gutierrez in 1994 on STS-59. And Eileen Collins set two records. She became the first female pilot of the shuttle in 1995 and the first female commander of the space shuttle in 1999. As the space shuttle takes its place in the history books alongside other programs like Mercury and Apollo, one of its greatest legacies will be the people who flew on board it. Regardless of nationality, gender, or color, the shuttle flew more people from more walks of life than anything before it.